Hi, Alan Park, and happy Wednesday. Okay, we've only got six more days until you cast your vote for the Allen Park Public Schools 2021 bond proposal. Yesterday, I had mentioned that I wanted to answer some of your questions that revolved around our bond. So let's get started. Hi, Mr. Darga. Beyond athletics, can you show us a breakdown of bond expenses? $74 million is a lot of money. How is the money being divided throughout the district? We heard we're getting STEM labs. What other big ticket items are being covered? So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a quick PowerPoint. I wanted you to have a visual of where the money's being spent. We actually started planning for this in June 23rd of 2020. So it's been a couple of years. This has been in the works. So again, bond planning started June 23rd, 2020. As you can see here, we've got tons of facility findings and site work being done. We need to replace our aging parking lots, as we've stated, as well as our sidewalks. Parking lots and sidewalks alone throughout the entire district, if you look down here on the left-hand side, will range about $5.1 million. Building exterior, we need to replace our aging roofs. And again, we've got six buildings. We're going to be looking at a cost range of upwards of $6 million to replace the aging roofs alone. Interior, updating high school media center, the science rooms, we need to update our flooring. Cost range, equally about $5.8 million district-wide. Mechanical systems, replacing our aging boilers, classroom unit ventilators, adding air conditioning to all classrooms and replacing plumbing fixtures alone will set the district about $12.5 million district-wide. Electrical systems, we're looking at about a $7.5 million cost to replace all of our lighting throughout the district, as well as our emergency and exit lighting, $7.5 million. Program improvements, when we look at this, we look at adding STEM labs to all of our elementaries at about a million dollars a piece. We, as we stated many times, we are renovating the middle school pool and adding an additional brand new STEM structure uh, to Allen Park Middle School. I've added here on our map, so you can see here where I'm circling, here is our pool area. That will then, uh, again, uh, we are renovating the entire pool. We are adding on a brand new existing STEM robotics lab. It looks like that will be added on over by our science lab. So again, a totally separate area, which is then saving our pool and renovating that. We're also renovating the high school weight room and robotics room, and we have uh, Riley Center upgrades at a cost of about $10.5 million. Security systems, we're gonna be looking at about $1.4 million in updating our security systems. We have to update our technology infrastructure. Technology is expensive, as you can see, about $5 million will be used to replace infrastructure alone. We need to uplace technology equipment. We're looking at $7.1 million by um, updating and refreshing our current technology. Presentation and collaboration areas, about $1 million in creating new spaces for our students and our teachers. Furniture and equipment, we're looking at about $6 million district-wide to replace furniture, uh, purchase STEM equipment. This goes into media center, science, looking at purchasing band instruments, and of course, athletic equipment, $6 million. Program summary costs, this is the big ticket item here. If you look at that, paving, roofing, and buildings are about $17 million. Mechanical systems, about $12.5 million. Lighting upgrades alone, $7.5 million. Athletic fields, up to $7 million. Program improvements, $10.5 million. Safety and security, $1.4 million. Technology infrastructure, up to $5 million. Technology equipment, $2.6 million. We need to refresh all of our technology devices, about $4.5 million. Presentation collaboration workstations, $1 million. And furniture and equipment, district-wide, about $6 million. That total is between $65 to $75 million on our cost breakdown. I wanted to make sure I drew your attention for those who've not seen it, but this entire presentation and a lot more information, I just grabbed out a few slides out of this exact presentation. This is on the Allen Park Public Schools website. If you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and click down here. I'm gonna click this link right here, allenparkschools.com. That's gonna open up our web browser. There we go. Let's open up our web browser. That brings you right to our Allen Park Public Schools website that you can see here. Uh, it's an outstanding website, a lot of information. You're gonna scroll right down here. On the right-hand side, 2021 bond election. Click here for more information. 
And you click that link, it'll open up our bond page, which is a lot of information here for you to view. Again, everything I covered today, it's all transparent. We're not hiding any numbers. It's here for you to view. Just open these links. Here's our frequently asked questions, a lot of information on this, in, on this document alone. Um, and coming down here, our project list, and here's our presentation I reviewed today. And again, just a few slides were used. There's a lot more slides to be seen. You'll click down here, the bond presentation, November 9th, 2020. This was presented to our Board of Education. So again, you'd click that link. I hope you found this information very helpful. I hope you found it transparent, and I look forward to answering another question tomorrow. Have a great day, Alan Park.